Hi, you are watching In Death with me Ela. Russia is gearing up for the launch of Luna 25, a lunar lander. The launch has been scheduled for August 11, the coming Friday. This mission will mark Russia's re-entry into lunar exploration after a humongous gap of nearly half a century. Weighing approximately 800 kilograms and equipped with four legs, the lander is aimed at executing a controlled landing at the moon's southern pole. This is the same spot where India's Chandrayaan-3 is slated to land very soon. Plus five seconds. Lift off normal. PO Here tracking. we have a majestic lift off of LBM-3 M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. By contrast, most of previous moon landings have occurred near the lunar equator. The spacecraft is expected to reach the moon around five days after launch. With this lunar mission, Russia's first since 1976, Moscow is seeking to restart and build on the Soviet Union's pioneering space program. The launch is the first mission of Moscow's new lunar project and comes as President Vladimir Putin looks to strengthen cooperation in space with China after ties with the West broke down following the start of Moscow's offensive in Ukraine last year. After Putin sent troops to Ukraine last year, the European Space Agency said it would not cooperate with Moscow on the upcoming Luna 25 launch as well as future 26 and 27 missions. Despite the pullout, Moscow had asserted it would go ahead with its lunar plans and replace ESA equipment with Russian-made scientific instruments. Speaking at the Vostokny Cosmodrome last year, Putin had said that the Soviet Union put the first man into space in 1961 despite total sanctions. The Kremlin chief had also insisted that Moscow would similarly continue to develop its lunar program despite current Western sanctions in response to the assault in Ukraine. During the last Soviet moon mission in 1976, the Luna 24 had brought back samples of lunar soil. With Sputnik, the Soviet Union launched the first man-made satellite into space in 1957 and later sent into orbit the first animal, a dog named Laika, the first man, Yuri Gagarin, and the first woman, Valentina Tereshkova. The key objectives of this current mission would encompass scientific inquiries, collection of soil samples, and refinement of soft landing techniques. Russia's space agency Roscosmos said that its engineers have assembled a Soyuz rocket at the Vostokny Cosmodrome in the Russian Far East for the launch of the lander. Rough terrain makes a landing on the lunar south pole difficult, but the region is a prized destination because scientists believe it may hold significant quantities of ice that could be used to extract fuel and oxygen, as well as for drinking water. Russia's space agency is still reliant on Soviet-designed technology and has faced a number of setbacks including corruption scandals and botched launches. Moscow seems to be also falling behind in the global space race, facing tough competition from the United States and China. It needs to be seen whether Moscow would be able to pull this task of landing on the southern lunar region, heralding a new era in its space exploration program. All eyes are on Roscosmos and on the upcoming Friday.